I mean, I think one of the kind of reasons for making this film was that in Britain, and I think probably generally in Europe, there seemed to be increasing hostility to the idea, idea of any immigrants to Europe from outside. And especially in the run-up to the last election in Britain, there was like, every political party seemed to be trying to make the most extreme statements about making sure that no illegal immigrants arrived, making sure that asylum seekers were gen genuine uh, refugees and so on. And it seemed like, well, even if you're in a situation where these people are economic migrants rather than refugees, what's wrong with that? It got to the point where being a, being a migrant at all was a dirty word. From my point of view, it was just, um, as I say, said before, really, it was just a, a response to, to, to the kind of political situation in Britain and also just a response to the stories that, we were, you, know, that you read in the papers about, about the journeys people had made. It seemed inc that... On the one hand, you had people's reaction to, to in Britain was was these people shouldn't be here. They should be sent home. They should, you know, they, they shouldn't be allowed here. They should be put in camps as soon as they arrive. We don't believe any of them. They should be sent back. And at the same time, you're having accounts of journeys which, you know, t were over thousands of miles, where people risk their savings, they risk their lives, and and at the worst case, they were risking their lives in order to try and make a better life for themselves and their family. And it just seemed bizarre that people couldn't see that, and that. You know, you kind of hope that perhaps if people for an hour and a half spend some time, you know, imagining what it's like to try and get from one place to another, imagine what it's like to try, to try and make that journey, that by the end of that, that hour and a half they might be sympathetic to them and on their side. We knew the borders we were going to cross. We had a whole series of ideas of what kinds of things should happen. But what was most interesting in that way was, um, th for instance, um, there was a, a moment when we were about to cross from Iran into Turkey. And um, we had the scenes mapped out where um, our two boys who were being smuggled would be um, shopped. They'd be sold down the river by uh, their smugglers. When we actually got to this particular village, uh, which was a Kurdish village, um, the people there were so incredibly welcoming um, uh, uh, that there was no way we could continue with that strand of story. So that, that part of the story changed and it became a little oasis before they went on into Turkey. I think what's interesting about migration is, you know, obviously people leave for various reasons, you know, people want either because of not being happy where they are, not being able to live where they are, or wanting to be somewhere else. But, you know, for all the things you gain, you also lose lots of things as well. I mean, I think it's very, it, as I said, I think, you know, it is that complex thing. You, you know, if you're from one culture, you have a lot of uh, benefits from remaining in that culture, remaining with your family, remaining with, with your friends. And I suppose, if anything, the idea was, look, you know, that anyone who makes a journey like this, anyone who tries to, to, to migrate for whatever reason, they, they are leaving a lot behind, and people only do it because they feel compelled to do it for one reason or another. No one lightly decides to leave their family and their friends. In the case of Jamal, he's like 15 years old. If you imagine as a 15-year-old giving up not only your culture, but all your family, your friends, all the places you've known, that, that is not a decision anyone takes lightly. And if, if people are willing to take those risks, take those chances, then, then you should respect them. But I mean, I think, I think it's, you know, it's not specific to one place. I think in Europe generally, there is an uh, incredibly hostile attitude to immigrants from outside uh, Europe, you know, and uh, when we were filming uh, the sequence in Italy for the film, it was uh, March last year, and there were, you know, thousands of people were arriving at the time, and uh, I think it was Umberto Bossi said that the Italian Navy should go out and sink any boat that was uh, coming with refugees on it, so I think the attitude of Europeans in general is very hostile. What would be your ultimate aim of this film? Would it be to change prejudices and opinions? Yeah, obviously, I'd love my film to change the world. <laughs> In this world. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for bringing this wonderful film to us.